Okay, so here we are at our newest nightmare, day two. So uh, we're getting things pretty well wrapped up. Uh, ran out of nitrogen, a few other clusters yesterday. But we're gonna work through all that and uh, get it done. All right, so we're finally making some progress here. I got sidetracked doing a bunch of other stuff. So, but uh, so we did our nitrogen purge. You saw that. Uh, you didn't see me finish up the main electrical feed, but that's no big shakes. So right now uh, we did our last nitrogen purge. It held well. Um, so now what we got here is a vacuum pump. So we need to pull every ounce of air out of the refrigeration lines. And this is a pretty big system. So it'll probably take, oh, a good uh, hour probably to uh, purge this, uh, evacuate this, uh, this whole system. So but once we get it under and pull the vacuum on the system, uh, then we can charge it with our uh, refrigerant, which is uh, 410A, comes in these jugs right here. So uh, once we get to that point, I'll get you back on the line, hook up a gauge set, and, uh, and we'll fill it, and then we'll run it. Hopefully it starts right up and goes like a rape date, because it is hot and I'm getting tired of working so the battery went dead um, we're kind of at the point of no return here so we are going to we are going to turn off a, a unit here and uh, see if we can And uh, start adding refrigerant, refrigeration. So it comes pre-charged with 25 pounds, and based on my calculations here, we need to add about 25 more pounds of refrigerant. So, we'll uh, get these open if we can. It's uh, a little bit more difficult. Those are just big ball valves. You always want to put these back in in case a valve leaks a little bit. You got, you got yourself a little protection. So and in this kind of a system, you go by weight, not so much pressure. You know, like on the old conventional systems, you used to used to go by pressure, and then uh, now. It's all about the weight, how much weight. So I do feel this pipe cooling down a little bit. Um, you want it to be cold, cool, but not cold. If it's cold and frosty, it's usually a sign that you're actually low on refrigerant. So, and then this, this guy here should feel warm because it's pulling the heat out of the building. So this is starting to charge. You got about three quarters of that jug in there. Um, gonna take my vacuum pump around and we'll go see how our our indoor system is doing. All right, so we're on our second jug. Everything seems to be good on the inside. This thing is calming down a bit. I can feel some heat here, and this isn't. It's cool, but it's not cold, and that's. 
what I want, because I want the expansion to happen on the inside, not the outside. So, we'll get this other jet going in there, and we will be out of here. All right, so jug is empty. So our charge is about 52 and a half pounds, which is right where I want to be. 25, 25, and 2. Perfecto. So we're going to pack her up, button this bitch up, and get out of here. So you always want to make sure you get all these things all tied up because it just makes the job look good especially on a brand new unit when uh, you got all the little nuts and holes and everything go back exactly where they're supposed to uh, even on a piece of machinery now I'll come back and insulate these pipes after the refrigeration calms down in a few days. Now you may ask why I'm always using these. They're like what we consider the plumber's best friend. Now a lot of people would say that I'm just a fucking gorilla. And I'm not using the proper wrenches, but you know what? They're not here working and I am, so I do it the way I want. Ultimately, I mean, you want it to kind of look like when you do a big repair like this, you want it to look like you were never here, right? I mean, isn't that the game plan? The owner is put back home. That's the way it was when you showed up. Say goodbye to my little friend. All right, we are on the road. Almost got in a car accident because I'm not watching what the hell I'm doing. Um, it is about two o'clock. You know, I'm about where I was. <laughs> I'm 24 hours behind. Should have been done with that thing yesterday. So anyhow, I am heading back to the shop then I gotta go down to Parachute. That's about 75 miles from here, down in Grand, uh, towards Grand Junction, Colorado, and I'm gonna be working on a dope store down there. These uh, ladies are making marijuana chocolates, so I gotta put in a air conditioning and makeup air unit for their kitchen exhaust head, so there you go.